What's up, people? In the internet? My name is Jack, and I'm bringing you a score review on my Silver Argentinian team. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I won't go too much in depth because the last one went on for a quarter of an hour that I just recorded. Um, this man, um, I had in the wrong formation, so I had to rebuy him, like, because he wasn't get, like. Basically, I bought him, and he was only getting. Um, he wasn't getting nine k. I think he was on seven, so I had to rebuy buy him in a formation that he didn't mind. I sold mine for fifteen and bought this one for nineteen, which was a bad idea. It would just been uh, easier to buy my other one a formation card. But this man is very solid. Um, he has the main stats that I look for in a keeper, positioning and handling are his two best stats. And if you are having troubles with keepers, look for a keeper that have higher handling and positioning. Right, that's he's a beast keeper, tank between the sticks. Uh, yeah. Uh, next we have uh, Alvarez. He's actually the quickest Argentinian uh, right back there is, uh, gold, silver or bronze. But for what he lacks in pace, he makes up. I think he's like he's quite a big boy. He's like five ten at least. So yeah, he's a good player. He's also good defensively and heading. These two centre backs are a bit short, but Alvarez does help him because he can also like jump into the centre back role and help him defend crosses because he is five foot eleven and this man here is five foot. Fuck's sake, he's five foot ten. So. Yeah, um, Ferrero, yeah, he's there because basically what I do, I pair up the quicker centre-back with the slower wing-back, so then they can help each other out. See, he's quick, then he's slow, so they help each other out pretty much. And then, uh, yeah, I've done Alvarez. Ferrero, uh, good pace, good defending, heading, just a solid uh, defender, like, like he's just a solid defender, really. For the amount of coins you pay for him, yeah, it's, it's really low, like, not even a thousand coins because he's a non-shiny. I'll quickly go for, I paid... 19,250 for Orion. Alvarez I pay 1.5k for because he's really rare. I couldn't find him. 950 for Ferrero. Next we have um, Fernandez. Um, for what he lacks in pace, he, he makes up for in heading. Uh, he can jump really high, but he's not very good attackingly because he just gets beat by all the centre backs. I mean, five foot ten ain't gonna do you much in, uh, attacking corners really. Like like Thiago Silva, much I do have the second in form of Thiago Silva now, and also have Danny Alves from other team. This one seems a bit better, and yeah, this Thiago Silva mainly because his jumping's gone up. But his defensive defending corners, I'm always worried with this team because the two centre backs are just too short. But the the right back helps him out because he's a bit taller. But overall, I like Fernandez. He can he's got good pace, good defending, and like and he's got good heading. But if like I was to make a, like a proper Argentinian team, I wouldn't choose either of these centre backs. The only reason they get by with their height is because I'm coming up against like other crap silver teams. So it doesn't really matter about their height. But uh, they're definitely on the short side. But they are the two quickest Argentinian centre backs. So yeah, they are good, but they're just lacking height. Um, left back we have Rodriguez, this man does also have an inform but I can't justify paying 70,000 coins for it but his inform goes up two pace in two pace, I think it goes up like, I think that it goes up 10 dribbling and 6 passing, it goes up a lot that's why it goes like, it jumps like uh, 70k. Um, uh, Fernandez I paid 1.1k for, this man I paid 800 coins for, that's not his face, that's his face, yeah. I paid 800 coins for, his inform is like 70k more expensive, but this man, quick, but he's, he's an attacking, see, uh, the right back is defensive, I mean, you look at that, he can't dribble, shoot or nothing, but he's good defending and heading, this man is the opposite, he can pass and dribble very well, the ball sticks to his feet, surprisingly good for 70 dribbling, and his passing is very nice, I have, uh, I've used it, and it's very nice. He's defending 69, I'd probably say, yeah, I'd give him that. He's not too good and heading 67. He's five foot five, so he's really short and really rubbish in the air. So that's why I don't like defending in corners or attacking with this team because they're all basically really short. Apart from Lamelo, six foot, and I think this man might be six foot, and this guy's about five ten, I believe. He's one seven two. Oh, no, one seven two. He's one eighty and one eighty three. I think he's six foot. He's five eleven and he's five eight. I think. But the defense is on the short side, so, but. Basically, the teams that you will be coming up against, it will do fine. Let's just say that. Going on to the midfield, we have Sejas. Uh, this man comes as a centre forward naturally. Um, most people do actually move him to centre mid because, like, in the Mexican team, there's a lot better players for him. Like, if you want to play him centre forward, Cam, centre mid, he wouldn't work CDM. But then three positions, there's better players in the Mexican league for him. So he doesn't get used in Mexican teams. It's only silver Argentinian teams. And, um... I don't use him, like, basically, you can use him striker, 
a cam centre mid, centre forward, and that's it, yeah. But basically, in the Mexican league, he wouldn't get used in nowhere because he's just outshadowed by other players. But here, uh, 78 pace is not enough to be the striker of the team. So I thought, well, we can't play on the wings, he won't get chem. So I'll look for one that was moved to centre mid. And surprisingly, there was three or four, which I was rather surprised about. Um, so yeah, he's a good player. Very, I agree with his pace. Uh, shot, passing, dribbling. He's a well-rounded player apart from defensively. But heading, uh, it's not very accurate, his heading. But he has 92 jumping. That's uh, that, that compensates for his shortness. But yeah... Uh, what I was going to say, if you look at, if I've looked at his in-game stats, they're pretty much all like uh, mid to high 70s. They're all literally everything is mid to high 70s. Like, he's he's a good player. He's very well rounded. Uh, not swap with club. Uh, I paid 14k for him. Uh, next we have Bataglia. Uh, was I going to say anything else about Sages? Oh uh, yeah, that was it. He he does have a second in form right wing version, but like. I was tempted, I was, what I was going to do, I was going to buy a second in form one to replace with this Aturbe because I don't really like this man that much. But uh, his second in form one, if we I'll just quickly go have a look, I did actually do something to my team. His second in form one is a right wing, shame it isn't a like, the right wing. Oh my god, why is my keyboard, sometimes my keyboard glitches out and just doesn't work on the web app, I don't know why it does that. Uh, one sec, let's just put this... Got 5k. Huh? Maybe he isn't right wing. Lol, I fell. I'm sure he is left wing. Ah, uh, he's left wing, that's what it is. There's his second in form. Not very expensive, but I wouldn't play him left wing because the man I have left wing is a lot better. So, yeah, back to the team. He's a very good player, well rounded. Uh, perfect centre mid. Uh, uh, all my centre mids and front three, so basically six four star skillers in this team. They're all four star. He's a good player. Good long shot, beast long shot actually. Next we have Bataglia, uh, 76 pace. I play him centre mid for two reasons. He's the slowest and he's also got the best defending. Uh, 63 shot, I think it's because his finishing is really low. Passing, dribbling, defending and heading are all. Basically he's a versatile player. But what's it called? He's got some unbelievable in-game stats. I mean he's got like a fair few dark green stats, I mean like five or six dark green stats, he's got it for, uh, he's got uh, heading, uh, he's got brilliant long pass and short pass, long shots, and like basically he's got a load of green stats in game where this man just has a load of yellows, but he's very well rounded, this man has quite a few greens, but not so well rounded, he's a very good player, I play him in the middle, he's very good defensively, he drops back and helps out the two short centre backs because he, um, I think he's actually rather tall, but he's a good player, I like him a lot. Um, next we have Eric Lamella, uh, probably one of my favourite players on this team, I'd probably say third, maybe, I don't know, but basically my favourite players on this team are him, Lamella, Sejas, Rivas, Bravo, yeah, so four favourite players, but Taglia just stays back and I, uh, yeah. Players that stay back uh, don't like don't get the credit they deserve from me. I mean, like normally he does a brilliant defensive duty, but I still prefer the attacking midfielders just because they get me the goals. Next we have Mel Lamella, 77 pace stays a liar. I would probably say it's 80. 72 shot is because he's got unbelievable finishing, unbelievable long shots, and unbelievable free kicks. He's a tank. 69 passing, I'll up that a bit. He has 79 dribbling. If you don't do the update for my team, like if you make a new club, he's actually five. Uh, like no you can't actually do that uh, there was an update like in January if you didn't do that he's still 5 star skills uh, 79 dribbling and the ball sticks to his foot, feet and it, uh, he's left footed and say just is right footed so they can cut in a long shot bang bang like say you've got a left footer you want to play him right centre mid you've got a right foot you want to play him left centre mid so you can cut in a long shot and this man also has a lovely long shot even though he's only got 63 shot right next we have the front three um, we have a Turbe, uh, 81 pace, I don't really like him, he's a bit slow, but the ball sticks to his foot, and he's also left footed on the right wing, so he can cut in and finesse, his finesse is pretty nice, but although he's got the highest shooting start, I do prefer the other's finesse, but he's a good player, it's just he's a wee bit slow, I would love an inform of him, I would buy him straight away. Next we have Rivas, the, the, the left wing and the striker are just pace, 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 finesse shot, finesse shot, finesse shot, 90 pace, yep, yeah, that does him justice. Uh, he's also pretty tall as well. He's the tallest player there. He's he's pretty tall. I mean, he's 175. What's Lamella? 
He's 183, so I reckon he's about 5'10", but he's quick, and he's got a beast finish on the ball, so he sticks with his foot, very good player. Next, we have Messi Bravo. <laughs> well, I actually call, uh, where is he, Mardos, Messi Mardos, but Bravo, what's it called? Uh, he's basically Messi, he's really short, and left-footed, and really quick. But this man is really quick, good dribbling, and um, he's got a lovely little left foot on him. The team work well. It's like really weird because um, it's like the, the like this wing back, right back doesn't get forward, but left back does. So they kind of cancel each other out. This one defends, this one doesn't. And then centre backs, they're both a bit slow, but I mean they're both a bit slow. And then the left back helps them with that. The, they're both a bit short, but this man helps them out with that because he's pretty. He's like the same height as them, so that means there's three pretty short players, but that all help each other. Basically, this team works together really well. Uh, these two uh, are really quick. This one's not so quick, so they compensate re each other really well. Uh, he can defend. The other two can't, so they work really well together. These two can are uh, quick and uh, have, a, have a nice shot on them, but this man, the ball sticks to his feet like like it's glued on. So they work really well together. One Basically, one's weak at something, the other one will help them out and be strong at it. Basically, I would recommend this team because you don't come up... I mean, I've got like a good bench. Well, not a good bench, just like a silver team bench, pretty much, because the gold player cancels out with a bronze, if you know what I mean. So... Yeah, uh, I would recommend buying this team. Although the defense is a bit short, the teams that you, will, the teams and the players you will be coming up against, um, like the the players, I actually mean the actual on the team player, you will be coming up against, uh, won't be too good. So you'll be able to uh, cope with the short centre backs and all that. But I would recommend building this team because it will just trample on any other two uh, three and a half star team. It's a beast team. Uh, I would recommend getting these two in forms, Orion and Sejas, because they're only cheap. I mean, he cost me 14, but I did have to buy a 3k formation card, so even if it is only 17, and then he's only 19, I would recommend buying these two, and when I get 70k, I'm going to buy this man in form, but I probably couldn't uh, be, like, I'd probably try him, but sell him straight on, because 70k for a left back, no way, Jose. I did put, admittedly pay a lot for Danny Alves, 240k right wing back Danny Alves but he gets forward this man doesn't really so it'll be a waste of 70k but I would recommend buying these two informs and then if you have the cash to splash do buy that one but don't worry if you can't afford none of the informs it'll still be a brilliant team for you yeah I recommend this team and uh, if you could please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help we are a small channel and peace